Will Project A be the new CSGO? A straight up answer. Just before I give my answer to this question, be sure to leave a like. And uh, if you guys like FPS content, be sure to also hit that red subscribe button down there. Yeah, back to the question. My straight up answer would be probably yes. Here's why. Because, you know, although CSGO has been out for like eight years, around eight years, it was always able to keep some sort of like a, a stable amount of players playing in, playing in the game per day. Just recently, I, I, I stumbled across the video by the the eScore Sports, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry if it's wrong. I, I came across this video about them talking why CSGO was suddenly popular. I was intrigued because it's been a while since CSGO has had like a sudden big increase of uh, players within their game. It was because of Project A. Apparently, when I watched the video with Project A, at first glance, it was it was really interesting because it had sort of like an Overwatch vibe to it. It had skills within the game, just like their original game, League of Legends. And also, if it kind of it has the same aspects of CS:GO. The the most interesting thing that I found in that video was when I watched it again. I think in the first couple of clips uh, showing the gameplay of it. I'll put it up on the screen right now. It shows how this player was very careful on how he was turning his corner. And this, this this type of movement is not is very common within the CS:GO community. As you CS:GO players know, that the value of movement control is very important when you're when you're playing the game. Like, if you can't control your movement and you're using an assault rifle or a sniper rifle or, or anything else except a couple of like pistols and SMGs, you're pretty much useless. Like I'm not even kidding, you're pretty much useless in CSGO if, if you can't control your movement. I've been there. Yeah. Unless you get an SMG and you go <laughs> around the map. You know what I mean guys? So if they really do implement this kind of movement control within their game, there's no wonder why so many people were playing CSGO. Because I'm sure that people want to be ready for the game, want to be ready and uh, good as soon as the game is released and you know, get that high level or whatever system they're going to be implementing. With, you know, just like League of Legends with their bronze, silver, gold, platinum, that kind of thing. And the reason why I say Project A could, could be the new CSGO is because CSGO still has its problems even after 8 years. Even though they recently released a patch, um, you know, introducing new skins as usual, and even introducing new player skins, which was pretty cool. But, um, you know, CS, CSGO still has its problems with hackers and, and toxicity. Sandwich. Nice, it's not Sandwich! Sandwich! Fuck, kurva team! Fuck! Can we lose like a farm? Sandwich, 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 sandwich! And all that, all that good stuff. I'm sure you guys know about that. Honestly, this this new Project A could could be that breath of fresh air that that they want or that they needed because there have been games that 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 came out to try and compete with CS:GO, but there's still players coming back to CS:GO because it's just so it's it's so simple. It's so. I wouldn't say easy to play, it's just like, it, it's so simple, it, and it's been around for so long, you know, Counter-Strike 1.6, Counter-Strike Source, there's always going to be people coming back to the game. The reason why I say Project A could could be the new CSGO is also that it had this vibe of like a like a cartoony version of, of CSGO. You know, just like how Fortnite is a cartoony version of PUBG. You know, people dig that. Although I know Fortnite, the, the, the main thing about what makes it special is the building aspect, but you know, I don't know, people People really do dig the cartoony version. Also, another big problem that I feel like with CSGO is the market. The price tags on the items that they're selling is, is way too expensive. I, In my personal opinion, I feel like it's just way too expensive. You know, Asian, Asian style. You know, we, we, we don't like things expensive. We like the bargain. But if... Project A is going to also implement this kind of market thing where they sell skins and knives just like CSGO. If they can lower their price and still like produce amazing quality skins just like CSGO, I don't, I don't know if you guys agree with me, 
there's some skins that are pretty nice. Honestly, if you guys if you guys buy a sapphire knife or or a ruby knife or a dragon lore, you got you guys got mad dedication to the game. So I don't expect you guys to transition to Project A because I mean I you might feel like this sort of you owe yourself to the game because you bought all these expensive skins. So I mean like good luck to you guys. If, if Project A could implement this kind of market within their game, make it cheaper, it's definitely going to attract a lot more more players to get into this game. Make it affordable, make the dragon lore instead of like very expensive, make it affordable, at least affordable to more people, then I'm pretty sure they're going to attract a lot more players there. One of the biggest reasons why CSGO was still kind of popular is because of the skins, and the knives, and now the player skins, who I don't know if what people think about that but if if riot were to implement this it could definitely take a lot of the players from csgo from the csgo community and transition to project a who knows right now it's just way too early to say anything there was no there's no beta testing confirmation date yet so thing is just way too early to say anything in any case the reason why csgo csgo has become so popular lately is because you know maybe people picked up on that that point where there's that movement control that you need in, in Project A, but we don't know that yet. Just gotta wait and see. But if there is, I think CSGO is the perfect place for people who want to get into Project A. As I said in the beginning, most possibly, yes, Project A could be the new CSGO. It really honestly depends on personal uh, personal opinions. Could be the same like PUBG and Fortnite, you know? Like people would prefer the cartoony version of CSGO, or people would prefer the real, more realistic type of FPS of so CSGO. You can definitely predict some sort of a big update or like, needed attention that CSGO needs to keep players within their game. I don't know what Gaben's gonna do, but there's something is going to happen with CSGO, big, big patch update or just much needed attention. So yeah, can CSGO stay in competition or will Project A just take over? Who knows? Let's wait and see. If you guys enjoyed the video, again, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see some more FPS content, please hit that subscribe button as well down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.